Hi everyone, this is Dr. Lin Fung, English teacher, researcher, author, and creator of the Actually Speak app. I'm in my cozy office looking at my thermometer. It indicates the outside temperature of 26 Fahrenheit, which is about minus 3 degrees Celsius. Let's learn the word indicate in today's 3-minute lesson. Let's learn to pronounce and spell it first. Indicate. Indicate. The primary stress is on the first syllable in. The vowel in the first syllable is the short a, as in ship, skip, and mister. The secondary stress, which is less strong, is on the third syllable kate. The vowel in this syllable is a, as in play, hate. And shake. Yes, I'm thinking of the song Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. The players are gonna play, play, play. The haters are gonna hate, hate, hate. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it off, shake it off. Let's put the word together again. Indicate, indicate. To spell the word, it's I-N-D-I-C-A-T-E. Indicate means to point to, show, or reveal. It also means to state or express something briefly. The current temperature where I am indicates that it's pretty cold outside. The findings of my research indicate that spending time on using language is one of the most important factors in your language learning success. Related words include indication, which is a noun, indicator, which is also a noun, indicative, which is an adjective. Using the examples above, I can say that time spent on using language is an indicator of learner's effort in language learning. In other words, time spent on using language is indicative of learner's effort in language learning. Pay attention to the preposition of in these two examples. Talking about academic success in general, what do you think are indicators of academic success? You may practice explaining this word and other academic words by playing the academic word list one crossword game with someone else on the actually speak app. And remember to join me for more three minute lessons.